Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I know I've been very inactive recently. I was considering quitting YouTube to be honest because I'm not sure I really have the time to make and edit videos. However, it does appear that I might have time to continue making videos. So I'll just keep going on with YouTube, I guess. But yeah, the uploads might be very infrequent because of the fact that I'm getting quite busy so I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of that but now that's out of the way I'm going to be addressing something that I've kind of noticed that's become quite an issue in the Star Stable community so if that interests you feel free to keep on watching and let's just jump right into this going to be doing some training in the background because as you may have noticed this horse is one level away from level 15 so I'm going to try and put a dent in that in this video um but anyways as you may have seen from the title of this video there is something that I've noticed becoming quite normal in the Star Stable community even though it's not necessarily something that should become normalized. Um, so if you're a club owner I'm sure you might have experienced this sometime within your club owning experience. Um, but if you don't know I am the owner of a club called Fairy Foxes on the server Firestar. Over the almost year, which is kind of surprising, <laughs> of owning fairy foxes. I've had quite a few encounters with this and it's not really something that should continue because it does impact clubs actually quite a lot. Um, now you're probably wondering what that is so I'll get right into that. <laughs> People are starting to I guess normalize copying clubs, club uniform and club horses and like that just doesn't really sit right with me like sure you can copy the club horse and the club uniform but it's really it really impacts the club because this happened um i guess maybe five months ago with fairy foxes and that was when fairy foxes was in quite a sensitive place because we were quite new so I guess kind of making our name get out there a bit more and then when someone started copying our uniform and creating rumours about us that just really I guess hit me because I was not expecting to you know I guess wake up one day and seeing everyone saying like these rumours that someone spread about fairy foxes. But yeah, um, as I said, that was like five or six months ago, so, you know, I guess it's good experience to have to deal with someone creating rumours about your club, and I will mention that all of those rumours were dealt with in a polite and kind manner, so, you know, just kindly asking them to stop saying what they're saying, and also just... I guess hanging around Steve's a lot to try and show people that it's not true like what they're saying isn't true and a lot of help from my club leaders and yeah that did work club owning isn't easy and people like that just makes it even harder as I mentioned in the start of this video there is another club that's doing pretty much the same thing with copying our club horse and club uniform and I mean yeah it does mean a lot that you know people look up to us and want to actually have a club that's based around us but it also just impacts us so much 
Like for example, some people have started spreading the rumours about, you know, fairy foxes being disbanded just because someone copied our club uniform and club horse. And I don't know, that after all of like the stuff that myself and my club leaders have done, like all of the effort we've put in, I just feel like it's really upsetting to, you know, see people just try and destroy the community like that. And I'm only using fairy foxes as an example. I've seen so many other random clubs copying, you know, more of the popular type clubs as well. And, you know, no one really does anything about that. I mean, sure, the club owners and all of that, they try and make that stop, obviously. But, you know, no one in the community actually does anything when they see that happen. And I just feel like it's not great that people just don't really think before they do something, you know? Like, you could at least ask the club owner if they, you could, like, I don't know, use the same club horse or whatever. But copying it entirely just really does make such a big impact on literally everyone in the club. And after all of the hard work that club owners and club leaders put into the club, it is kind of unmotivating, I guess. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you are someone that's copying a club's uniform, please just consider like how that impacts the other club that you're copying. It might not seem like it's going to do a lot, but you know, club owners try not to show how, you know, rumours and whatever impacts them. Jeez, I'm trash at this race. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you are a club owner, don't purposely push yourself away from drama. Just don't get yourself involved in it if you can because it is good experience to know how to deal with drama because you know when I first started fairy foxes I had no clue what to do when drama you know occurred and all of that but now that I have some sort of understanding of how people need to react compared to how you should react definitely a game changer and just to clear something up fairy foxes hasn't had any drama like within the club it's all other people outside of fairy foxes you know as i was saying spreading rumors and that type of thing it wasn't anyone in the club because you know we aim to be a safe community so we go to very extent lengths to make sure no one starts drama in fairy foxes yeah just keep all of this in mind and i did also want to mention that fairy foxes is going to be showing up on this channel quite a bit in the next couple weeks because you know fairy foxes loves to be a crazy club <laughs> if you didn't know and as we're now starting to use discord for our dressage lesson i just thought it might be interesting to give you a bit of insight in what fairy foxes lessons are like and i can assure you there are plenty of funny moments as we, you know we love to have a little bit of a joke around but yeah, just thought, you know, let you guys see what Fairy Foxes is like. But yeah, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. Sorry for kind of ranting about this topic. I really feel like no club owner should have to experience you know, people thinking that the club's disbanded just because of someone's actions in copying a club uniform. So yeah, hopefully this helps educate some people or at least sorry that you're not alone if this is unfortunately something that your club is dealing with all right everyone that is today's video hopefully you enjoyed it and please pass on the message that i'm trying to evoke in this video and feel free to comment down below if you're excited for some more fairy fox content because i'm certainly excited to release it but yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye